Hello, I'm Smart Scraps representative Andrei Karablin. We're engaged in metallurgic waste reusage and its further distribution. Now we are at our production site in Yekaterinburg where the distribution chain begins. Here you can see the scrap of 60 to 500 fraction, which will be later loaded into wagons and delivered to our customers. In our business operations, we pay particular attention to product quality control. Today I will show you how we implement our quality. Our customers value high percentage of steel infusion, as well as the concentration of non-ferrous admixtures. So what we'll need is scrap, water tank, scales, angle grinder and X-ray fluorescence meter for analysis. Firstly, we'll measure the percentage of steel infusion in our scrap sample using displacement method. The water tank is full, the scales are set to zero, the samples are randomly picked and we are ready to start the test. It is important that the water covers all the pieces. Our aim is to determine the weight of samples as well as to measure their volume characteristics. It turned out that the sample's weight is 71 kilo 900 grams. Then we measure the volume difference to define the percentage of steel infusion. The next significant criterion for most of our clients is non-ferrous admixtures. Those are sulfur, phosphorus, manganese and carbon. These samples are analyzed using X-ray fluorescence meter. To define steel infusion, first of all, it is necessary to clean up the sample piece. The precision of analysis result depends on the cleanliness of the surface. Let's turn on the mobile analyzer and run the program. We can see the following admixture. Silicon, high levels of chromium and 3% of nickel. Now I've chosen a cinder block on purpose, since it characterizes this mass more precisely. As you can see, there are more steel pieces in it rather than those cinder ones. Now we're about to measure several of these blocks. After we place them in the water tank, it turned out that their weight is 107 kilos and 800 grams. So now that we're back in the office, we need to enter the data that we've collected into the system. I've already done that, so you can check it. In the first sample I've chosen, the level of steel infusion is 73%, and in the second piece it is 95%. We will send you the methodology of infusions and admixtures measurement through displacement technique after you've registered on our website and submit an application. Thank you for your attention and best of luck to your business!